Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros Podcast. Oh, I'm getting some jello shots right off the bat. You know? Oh, I'm gonna we get are good and dirty. Alive. I'm going to get good and dirty. From the Army-Navy game, we're also giving away uh, some recircs. So anybody who wants to get recircumcised, you do. Yeah. Are you not happy with your first circumcision? Great. We will recirc it right now. Pull it out. Pull it out. Let us recirc it live on air. <laughs> live on air, we're recircing it. Um, Listen, I'm excited to watch the Navy fuck the Army as hard as Chelsea Manning did today. hi oh hi oh That's right, Bradley Manning. Suck a fat one. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Drinking Bros. <laughs> if you didn't know... Right out are. the gate with a good tranny joke. Yeah. 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 Chelsea Manning was supposed to be at the game today, but abandoned the stadium. So, um, <laughs> weird. You're, it's not going to be here. <laughs> you're confusing here. your two army yeah, shit that's, am i uh, yeah. that's Bert, kidding Bert, that's oh Bert my Dole. bad yeah my bad Bert Dole had tickets but he walked away <laughs> <laughs> Look, ladies and gentlemen welcome to the podcast yeah where we hate bo Bergdahl and bradley may <laughs> <laughs> yes. we've been getting fucked up all day um i'm not gonna say that we've been having these dick cookies but we've been having these dick cookies. I asked the girl, I said, hey, why did you make these penis cookies with a dick and balls on them? And if you're not subscribed on YouTube, you should be right about now because this video will get banned in about an hour. She said, so everyone could eat a dick. And I enjoyed it. I enjoy, you have to lick do it. You, okay, cool. Do you know what makes these jello shots better? What about? The fact these fingers have been in someone today. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> have they? <laughs> They've at least been inside of him today. Yeah, he's, he's easily. For sure. Those two. Yeah. Use the microphone, dickhead. Yeah, use the microphone. Come on in. Hold it so, close to your mouth. There we go. What's your name? My name's Chris. How's everyone going? What's I'm up, Chris? Now- hey, if you don't remember Chris from last year, this is the guy who took the anal jello shots. This is a legendary Army Navy veteran. <laughs> yes. Just making my jello parents- shot in the ass. <laughs> and a push pop. <laughs> totally just making my parents proud. So isn't it? Did they see that? Did I like how no, this guy over wrong. here just heard Jello shots in the ass and he came running. Yeah, up. what does it say hey, about you as a is person? Is there free Jello shots for the ass? Hi oh, <laughs> who is taking <laughs> Jello shots in the ass out there? That that guy is. He wants one in the ass. Well, the oh, come on in. The come on in. <laughs> come on in. We got a, We got Passing one for you, torch. brother. <laughs> I will put this square in your b-hole, dude. I'm not wearing a glove. but he Oh, oh we got the gloves. There it is. We got a pair of gloves. We have a pair of gloves, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't think this was going to be possible, but it is. It is. So we are continuing oh, the tradition, so maybe Army will win. There it is. He's got the gloves on. Oh, he's, he's putting the gloves on. The yeah, gloves on. Right now. The he's gloves put the gloves Alan, on. Alan, Alan, get a shot of the time. gloves, dude. <laughs> there is no way this is going down. I know he is. Well, at least the torch is But who's the recipient this year? We're, we're not doing it this year. Chris. We were already told specifically to stop the jello shots in the ace. Well, we were and we weren't. <laughs> Wait, who told we us that? We were and we weren't. Uh, what? God. <laughs> There's no God. Shut up. Yes, God stopped listening to our show. <laughs> Philadelphia Stadium security came over and said, hey, man, if you could not stick things up each other's asses, that would be great. <laughs> well, I mean, the great part is... I said, is why? The- that's, not a, that, that's not against the rules, is it? And he was like... Yeah, can you show me where it's written? That's what I want to see. Show me in Section 4A, Article 9, rectal shots aren't allowed. Like, that's not a thing. Who's taking these up the ass? He's got the gloves on. Well, I mean, the plus side is it's a jarhead that's going to be doing it. Okay. We'll get back to that. Yeah, Chris. We're getting back to no. it. I think Chris is. Let's go back to the Chelsea up. Manning jokes. Yes, shall we? <laughs> yes, please. Let's, let's. Where, where is she? You know today? that book that she's coming out with, Treasonous Tranny. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hey, what do you think the army I mean, did with does... her dick? Huh? What do you think the army did with her dick? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, that's right. So, do you think that's in the congressional archives? No, yeah. at halftime, actually, they canceled the bands. They're is just going to the, carry the dick out across yeah. the field. Well, they're I mean, gonna it, carry Chelsea Manning's they're gonna dick put out it, across the gonna, field. Yeah. Well, hopefully zone, they the bronzed zone. it. Yeah, they're I'm gonna, sure they bronzed it. They're going to put it in the uh, Obama presidential library. <laughs> <laughs> just right up front. Oh, just, I thought it might have been in some sort of Clinton memorial. 
in a nice glass case, uh, and then it's it's gonna be bronze. What if what if it, what if he's somebody that wants that as like memorabilia? Oh, since yeah. he pardoned him, I would pay know. for it. I would yeah. pay for it. Yeah. I look. I always said this. I, I wanted Lance Armstrong's nut, and then Ted had it in the movie. But I want to get Lance on the show and be like, "What'd you do with the fucking nut?" Patrick Gordon saved his asshole in a jar. I want to see. Wait, like, what? Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. He You're saved right. his asshole. Yeah. Roseman of the year last year, Patrick Gordon, uh, going through ass cancer. They had to pull out his his rectum. He saved it in a glass jar. I want that. Yeah, I, I want that. If I got if I got a nut removed, I want to keep my nut. I want to put it on the mantle. I want my whole entire family, kids. I got a five year old, a one year old. And I want to say, hey, there's your father. No, 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 like no, no. A college football I think what game. you should do is you should. Freeze it in an ice cube and keep reusing it for all your ice cubes no, every no, time no. you have a drink. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> what it should be is full flavor Flav rocking that thing on a gold chain anywhere you go. Oh, a nice yeah. nut chain, like gold it up. And then I, just here's what I want. I, I want it on a mount, like above my door, so I can knock on it twice before I walk out of the house every day. <laughs> well, you know I, I mean? feel like that should just be the full testicles up? for the, you know, oh, yeah. make sure yeah. you cup the balls when you knock. I feel like it. I, f- I feel like it should. Uh, Jared, Army, Navy. Who you got today? I've got the Navy. Yes. You yes, do. and I have a I have a nice high stakes bet for today's game. Really high stakes. Yes. So much so, in fact, I got a text from the gentleman. Yep. We're not going to say who it is because uh, they're still serving. They're still active. Correct. Yes, they are. They are. And uh, he said, "Not a prayer." Jared's going to get the cornrows. You bet a set of cornrows to an active duty service member who got permission from his commander. Yeah, for for army. Yes. Yes. So the problem with that is the spread is minus ten and a half. So Vegas is expecting Army to get blown out today. Yeah, I expect Army to get blown out as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I expect you to get blown out in about fifteen minutes. I want to see those jello shots up that ass, brother. Hey, listen, one one time deal. One time is a one time deal. Is your wife here? Oh, oh I, there's no such thing as marriage in my future. What? <laughs> hey, listen. One night stands for life, man. Listen, I think one night I think I life. think the Navy is going full OIF one on the Army. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so on, on Drinking Bros Sports, that's actually our call as well. I took Army with the points simply because they're getting ten and a half points. However, your bet involves no points, so you just have to. No, win. no, no. All we have to do is win. And, win yeah. and and Rich Shipman, he's almost he's already at eleven hundred yards. Fucking yeah. running this year? Oh, uh, dude. Who cares? He's going to fuck them up. They're, yeah, because they suck, dude. Yeah, what are the, you talking about? He's number 15. My lucky number's 15. Rich Sittman's going the whole fucking way. Yeah, he's getting he the goddamn Heisman. Who? Richard Rich. Sittman. No. He's yeah. Not. No one here has heard of him except for you. <laughs> no one here has watched a Navy game, apparently. There's exactly. A, there's a reason why they hold the Heisman Trophy show on tonight. It's because no player from Army or Navy is going to be at the highest ceremony. <laughs> Let's face it. Uh, but if they were, they were. Who brought in a case of Truly? Who's that? Come on in. Bring him on Come in on here, in, my brother. Man. Trade yeah. it out. Trade it out. Give him the microphone. There it is. Trade him out. Trade him out. Trade him out. Sit in the seat. There you go. You're going to sit in the seat, dude. Yeah. So Use one hand to hold the mic and the other hand to pass out those What's fucking What's your government Trulies? name? <laughs> I'll have to. Chris. Your, no, your government, man. The full name. <laughs> Connawall. Huh? Connawall. Middle name? Everybody, what do you want? We want the security full too? fucking government name. I'm Ross Michael Patterson, dude. Oh, God. That's stupid. Yeah. yeah. Mikey. What's your Shut middle up. name? George. George. There we yeah, go. There you seem hesitant on that. Yeah. George is weird, right? Chris <laughs> George. Chris George. Yeah. Jorge. Jorge. That's, that's what I go by. I would. Yeah. I would if I were you. Uh, hey, th- thanks for having us out today. Do you live in Philadelphia? Yeah. You do? Where at? Yeah. Uh, Manny Young. West, West Philadelphia. He was yeah. born and raised. We got some more whoa, shots. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have in. plenty of shots. Ah, we need some more. Bring them in. Bring them in. On the playground. I have enough. Where there you spent is. most of your days. Yes. These aren't going up anybody's ass today, are Were you they? military? No. No, you're not. No. Regular um, guy. What do you do here in Philadelphia? Uh, I screen print and uh, do construction work. Yeah, he gave like us that. those t-shirts last night. Yes, yeah. you did. The yeah. t-shirts were amazing. Super uh, straight Dan's. <laughs> super straight Dave. We have them here, actually. Yeah. I was driving home. Wait, we have super straight Dave's t-shirts? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dan's. He, put, he switched super it out for my name. Super straight Dan's t-shirts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's straight Dave's. Yeah. Uh, well. Do you want to do that for life? Is that what you want to do? No, I still haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> Shout out your company. Uh, Fast Buck Inc. Okay. Uh, I-N-K. 
Hell yeah. yeah. You can get us on uh, Facebook or Instagram or anything. Fast Buck Inc. Fast yeah. Buck Inc. Hey, yep. do you know what my favorite part of all this is? Is seeing the horror on people's faces that weren't part of this group. Oh my gosh. Like in the background the over there. Parking lot? Yeah. Like, what are these just, assholes talking about? And this about? dick who shows up with a lion's fucking sweatshirt. Come on. <laughs> I like his dance, though. Yeah, That's a dance. Nice dance. Hey, Alex, show his dance for the people. Let's get, yeah, that let's get that dance. There it is. There, brother. The kinda, Detroit Lions. He kind of looks like Dwight Schrute with Down Syndrome, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> very downy. You've got a very downy look to you. Like we're, we're one eye Downy Junior. But you're also, you've also counted all these jello shots inside your mind. You knew that answer before we did. Very downy. Very Ladies and gentlemen, downy. if you're just walking by, we're handing out free jello shots. Yes, and vasectomies. This is the vasectomy. <laughs> there it is. There, there we go. go. There, there we go. We go. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Kids, you got three kids. <laughs> I need jello shots. I've got three kids. There's got my two. man. Let's get, let's get this Navy guy one, go. too. Navy guy. There we go. Hey. Boom. Right here. Yes. Take two, take two. Yeah. Fire away. Welcome. Who's in the back? He's peeking his head and he wants a jello shot. We're talking well. about right there. Hell yeah. Hey, ask him. Ask him about it. Hey, come on. Come on in. Come on. Let's. Come on in. Come on into the show. What type of podcast is It's only 6.4 million people. It's Tell fine. us about okay. the boat. Hey, yeah. the fucking. Hey, hey how did, did we just get fucking. I uh, know. Uh, don't have no, extra no tickets. No, we don't. Hello. Uh, we don't have extra tickets. All Here right, have a seat, my have friend. Seat. Tell Come us on, about this boat. Auto off or something? Hold on a second. Uh, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> there was a guy who Hello? just came in and said, "Live on the show. Do you have extra tickets?" What? All right, I'm gonna I'm tell you a, a story. Yeah, I've got four. What's your name, sir? Huh? My name is Bill. Okay. What, what branches you serve in? Well, what do you think? Look hey, at him! Hey, hey, look, hey, look at him, you I, dumbass! We have an audio show as well, dude. Uh, do, you, do you know the history of the Navy goat? I don't. And the mule? Do you know the history of the mule? No, I don't. Do you know why they're the mascots? Uh-uh. Okay, I'm going to tell you why. Because Great. in 1890, the Navy went up to West Point. And what did they do? They kidnapped the goat. So it was actually the Army's goat. And what did they leave behind? They left a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Back, that, back when back when it was cool, now that you would get slapped with like sexual assault for something like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> and till this day, the uh, the army tries to kidnap the goat, and vice versa, we try to take the jackass back down to Annapolis. That's amazing. Uh, it's no, fun but, story. Uh, all true stories, you know. Yeah. All true. And one uh, one time, I was a police officer. And one time, they were coming down from West Point. And they had to pass through New Jersey. That's the wrong cop to get pulled over by. <laughs> as they were passing through Bergen County, I made. You're from same. Bergen County? Yeah. No oh, shit. Bergen County, yeah. Alex, New Jersey. from, from Jersey. Dumont and Westwood. <laughs> I went to Westwood no High School. So does she. You know, Caitlin Schultz? If you do, it'd be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Come on. All right, say, I, yeah, I, I do it or don't. Hey, I want to propose a toast to everybody here, all right? So you're yeah. gonna, or the Lalibertes, you know them? You, you're going to repeat after me, okay? Sure. Here's to you. Here's to you. Here's to you. And here's to me. And here's, here's to, to me. me. And friends we hope. And friends, friends we, we hope. Will always be. Will always, always be. be. But by chance. But, but by chance. We disagree. We disagree. We disagree. Well, <clears throat> you. And here's to me. Fuck you. <laughs> and here's to me. And here's to me. Yes. Go Navy. Cheers. Go Navy. <laughs> Tell us about the boat. We want to yeah. hear about your boat. Yeah, real quick. So what, what yeah. years did you serve? I served 1961 to 1967. Holy shit. Yeah. I was in sub-pack uh, six in the North Atlantic. I was down in Cuba during the blockade. I got transferred onto the Roosevelt CVS 42 and then to the Essex CVS 9 and then to the Compass Island EAG 153. So were you were you involved in the Bay of Pigs and all that other stuff? Not pigs, no. That okay. was the year before that. Gotcha. Yeah. That was sixty-two. No, I was in the blockade. Missile crisis is what okay. he's talking about. You were a submariner. Yes. My father was one. Oh, okay. uh, he was on the uh, the original Sea Wolf. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Very good. <laughs> That's amazing. So what what was the 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 real fear like back then? Well, you, we didn't know anything. I, I'll tell you because if you if you go through that uh, history about the uh, the blockade. Uh -huh. And the, the Russians and the trying to stop them from coming down there. There were three nuclear powered or nuclear armed submarines of the Russian Navy there. And two of them had broke down 
and the one that was left, and if it wasn't for that captain to say no, I'm not going to fire on the uh, Forrestal. It was another yeah. aircraft carrier. We would have been in the nuclear holocaust. Really? So we never knew anything about that at all. When did you find out? Years later, right? Years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to say yes. And when you later. found out, were you like, holy shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever that documentary came out. Pardon me? Yeah, whenever that documentary came out, right? Yeah, a lot of people yeah. didn't know that, that was, it, there was that one Russian captain that just it's said, no, right. I'm not yes. going to shoot. If it wasn't for that guy, I'll It was like in the you, fucking you know, early 2000s. Because he, was, he had, had the three captains had to vote on to fire yeah. the nuclear torpedoes. But the two, he disagreed with the other two. And that's, that's what amazing. Really, that, that would, uh, it's a true story. Tell us about your, your father. My what? Your father? Your father. Oh, my father. My father was born in Liverpool in 1901. He served as a cabin boy in the HMS Carney Hill, which was captained by my grandfather. Oh, shit. Wow. Out of Liverpool. <laughs> right. So it runs in the family of Tad. Yeah. So then he, he came to the States in around 1928, 1930, somewhere around there. And he didn't hit a wall or nothing? No, 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 no. no. no, no. Everything was fine. <laughs> he, uh, at the beginning of the war, World War II, he was down in New Orleans. And he met my mom down there. He lied about his age. He was 21 years older than her. And she was a Southern Belle. And after the war, we moved up to New York City. He stayed in the, uh, transferred over to the Merchant Marine. And I guess he sailed around all the world. I lived in Seattle, Montreal, and Port Arthur, Texas, Louisiana. That's amazing. <laughs> it sounds like an amazing life. Are you retired now? I'm a retired uh, police captain, yes, from Bergen County. There you oh, go. Oh, <laughs> wow. A police captain. Yes. Amazing. Okay. Well, thank you, gents. I'm going to have my jello shots. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show. Get hammered. Give we me appreciate hand it. Okay. Cheers. You know Quaglino? Quaglino. Good luck to Navy tonight. Good luck to Navy this afternoon, sir. Thank you. Craig Zaleski, pop on in, buddy. Pop on in, Craigers. How are you? You got a cigar in your mouth. Yeah, you got a little Patterson Holloway 2020 on. Indeed, got to vote, even though I don't live in Wilmington. Yeah. Got to vote. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Craigers, you're one of our fan faves. Who do you got today in today's game? You're, huge, you're, you're one of our biggest people in uh, Drinking Bros sports. Who Indeed. do you got today? He's Nick. got a Trump 45 jersey on, by the way. That thing's fucking awesome. Yes, it is. Um, um, Navy in about a point to knock it down nine and a half. Oh, just, so you're, you're, you're taking down a nine yeah, and a half. Yeah, okay. just in case, because we are Navy, and we do like to fuck each other over, so, you know. Absolutely. Were you Navy? Yes. Yes. How, what, what years did you serve? Uh, 08 to 17. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. Shit. Uh, how many Army-Navy games have you been to? Uh, this is my second tailgate, but I've never been to an actual game. Really? So are you going into the game today? No, I got a Christmas party with my beautiful, lovely girlfriend, Amy Mudgett. I love you. <laughs> uh, I love right, you in the, right in the camera, I love a. you. Yep. I, right I, in the camera, I, I a. fucking love you, and this is a celebratory cigar. Just, yeah. <laughs> what is it that you're celebrating? Just being, with, her. just being with you, Dad, being with you, Ross, Jared. Being skinny Single as fuck. Single Jared. <laughs> yeah. Being skinny as fuck. What I the don't fuck have anybody to love, here? Craig. <laughs> I want to love somebody. Jared, Jared you can fuck 8,000 porn, porn stars, and we would not be ashamed by that. I like that. I know. I know. It's the, it's the best. 8,000? Are there that many? Well, I, I think there's a lot. A lot of them have died. Yeah. Isn't that creepy? A lot of them hey, have died. Ross, yeah. can, we, can we start a hashtag, bring Cruz Jared back? Oh, hashtag bring Cruz Jared back. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise, bitches! <laughs> little Wonderwall? That was like Jack little Wonderwall. Nicholson. None of you assholes <laughs> saw this. None of you... No. So we we had a meeting about the cruise at, at 11 a.m. that morning. And then we On were the doing a day. show at 1. Yep. So we went to our meeting. Of course, this piece of shit doesn't show up because he was blacked out at the pool already. And then we come into the fucking venue, and he's sitting up there playing the piano drunk as fuck. He's like, surprise! <laughs> yeah. Didn't think I'd make it, did you? Like, we walked in, and he got a surprise! <laughs> no, we didn't think like, you would make it. We thought you were fucking dead. We were doing a live show, and I was just like, all right, Jesus Christ. Then he fell asleep on the floor. Fell and asleep on the floor, and everybody to fuck off, and then he played Wonderwall for people to leave. <laughs> <laughs> One of the greatest. I don't remember any of this. Labor. I, there's video of it. 
Yeah, there's video of it, and it was amazing. I think How we got some more people cruise? that need jello shots. It was great. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully, we can do a do we get some jello shots. Do we need to do another cruise? Yeah, either a cruise or the camp. No, we do. We would do both. Yeah. We're cruise, doing a summer camp for sure. Welcome. You need a jello shit. shot? Hey, do you want a jello shot? Come on you in. You want it in your Come ass? On in. There you go. Boom. Ross is ready to stick it in your ass. <laughs> Bingo, oh. bango, dodge Durango. Somebody's dressed like Top Gun out there. there. What is. is this guy Whoever doing? Whoever that girl is in the pink, I just turned hey, 21. Hey, Mr. Pilot. <laughs> Mr. Pilot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> the more he's, more. On, he's on his way to a Gulf Stream right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's super important. You can tell by his height. Yeah. <laughs> The, mo- the drunker and drunker we get, we just keep hazing people. Hey, <laughs> hey Maverick, all right. Maverick, why don't you fly me somewhere? There you go. I am not drunk at all. If Where y'all watch fly, episode, boy. there we go. Jello shots. If y'all watch hot. episode boom, five boom, ten, boom. I was fucking blitzed as fuck that day. Man, God, God damn it. Army Navy is one of our favorite tailgates. Uh, we we've made this a, a, a drinking bros tradition now. We will be here every single year. It does change the venues, but it won't be here in Philadelphia. Yeah, where is it next year? Um. I, it's, oh, so it's, it's one more year here, and then I think it moves on, right? 21, it's, oh, it's a giant God, stadium. can oh, they go somewhere new... to the west fucking coast yeah, where it's sunny? Warm. Can they go to the south? Can they go to the Georgia Dome? Uh, or the Mercedes-Benz Dome, I guess oh, it's called. Oh, Florence Groberg is yeah. showing up. With where's he at? Where's thing? he at? Put him on the set. There he is. Come oh, on, Flo. Come on. Yeah. Florence here, Mr. Groberg. Pop you, on in, uh, Craig Dulesky. Craig, it was a pleasure. There it is. Jello shot for you. There you go. Grab ladies, a rib. Ladies, ladies, come on in. There you go. Take whatever you want. Yeah. Take some jello shots, ladies. We're, we're, all, we're all socialists, oh, so you can take jello shots. Hey, Alec, get a shot of them. Just doing. Take three. Doing some jello shots. Thanks. Yes. Yes. Flo, how are you, brother? I'm struggling. I know you are. We you got guys, fucked up last night. You guys took me out. I know. I, I tried to call you back like three times. I heard your voice, <laughs> and then it faded away. I had slowly. I had a strict right after the show. I had to go work out. I had to I, I had to go work out. <laughs> what? Whatever I'm, the opposite of working out. I is. I worked out. <laughs> Did you go to Geno's? No, I didn't. Tyler Tyler was like, yeah, I went to Geno's too. Are you? Yeah, but I was getting I was getting uh, I was getting. Food shame this morning because I ate a Gino sandwich out of uh-huh. the trash. Yeah. Wait, are you a Gino's guy? I'm yeah. A, I'm a, honestly. What's your favorite cheesesteak here, Flo? Hey, it's Pat's. Pat's. A lot of people said that on the slide. Like, yo, it's Pat's, man. Fuck well, off. But, but you know, the locals are like, yo, man, you don't go to Gino's. You're going to go to Pat's. You go to whatever the hell else to go. I'm like, you know what? I go to fucking Pat's. Yeah. Look, if a Medal of Honor recipient tells you to go to Pat's, you go to Pat's in Philadelphia. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, is this like a. I should get passed for free for life. I know, for right life. We should, should request that. We should let request us, that. Let us request that for you so yeah. it doesn't look like, you know. Pat, if you're out there, it doesn't look like a t- t- if you're listening <laughs> from home and you're one, <laughs> one bedroom apart. <laughs> <laughs> I have no comment. <laughs> what, are you, what are you drinking there, Flo? What is that? I have no idea. Really? I said, I said put something in there. That is going to fucking rewire me. It's I got poo, a flight though, right? at 4.55. I love being <laughs> rewired <laughs> by my male friends. Yeah, you do. Well, you know, it was one time. He loves getting I changed up. your life, didn't I? Yeah, you did. I mean, you, you set me off on a path that contained two. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> two or one? Two, two. fingers? Two. Two, two. two thought- genders that I'm willing to fornicate with. Is so, it two? so we can confirm that now, right? You'll, do, you'll try a dude? I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't decided. Shut up. Why you got to shame me? I'm not shaming you, but when you say, I don't know if I'll try a dude, that means I'm you just will saying, probably no. try What it means dude. is I'm going to videotape it and send it to you. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. But here's the, and I'm going to be real graphic and rough. That's, ki- that's kind of a power move, though, if you think about yeah, it. It is. Uh, 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 a lot of eye Ross. contact in the camera. Ross. Oh, it's like God. close up to your face. If right you, as I just blast all over his boner. I was just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> if you looked at the camera and said my name as you were blasting all over his boner, it would take a little piece of my soul. It would take a piece of my soul. There's people walking by who are so disgusted that they've got their heads down and they're like, cool. I have no idea what's going on. Hey, here. Um, Flo, are you familiar with their campaign they're running right now? And do they get your nomination? 
Yeah, do we endorsement. Get, endorsement. Yeah, did we get your... Yeah, uh, endorsement. I'm sorry. I, no, I, I don't know, know words. Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So, we're running for school Show him the board. shirt. Yeah. Where's Craig? Craig, get the fuck over... Er, open your shirt up. Craig you Gillespie. got one right there. Yeah, boom. Right. Open your shirt up. There it is. Yeah, see? Patterson Holloway 2020. Boom. We're running for New Hanover County no, School no, Board no, of no, Education. No, That's real. I think I'm wearing a hat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. guess yeah. I'm endorsing it's you. It's on the side of your hat, yeah. Uh, we're, we're running for, we're draining the Listen, creek. Listen, you need to go John Wilmington. tape that, this picture, to the new Hanover County School Board office Yeah, that <laughs> Flo Groberg announces endorsement of you two <laughs> fucking idiots. I'm going to get fired from my job, aren't I? No. No. <laughs> They're running no, for no, school no. board. But we're running for school board. It's a real thing. Uh, we just started the campaign. Draining the creek. Draining the creek. We had a, champa- we had a, a campaign chili cook-off. Uh, to kick things off. Dude, you should do a champagne shirtless party. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> that would be funny. That'd be great. Do it at Poorhouse. Oh, God, that'd be awesome. Like, everybody's got to be shirtless, and it's just champagne. Women and men. And Women you, and men. Yeah, you bring you bring in the champagne pot sponsor. It'd be awesome. Yeah, be I'm, a, I'm in for that to yeah. host it. Luke Belair is one of our sponsors, the champagne company. You need but, that, Chris. <laughs> but the reason why I bring this up today is, sorry, speaking of chili, he said, hey, man, I couldn't be at your, your, your campaign chili cook-off party. I brought a pot of chili today with actual Carolina Reapers in the chili. Do Where is it? Touch it. Do not touch it. No, do not I, touch it. Yes. So we want to bring a fucking bowl up here. We'll each try a. I'm scoop. I'm not trying any of it. No. So I no, thought we we're doing goat balls. Scoop. No. We'll try a scoop of it. Yeah, you will. Not me. It is. Well, yeah. Bring it on the show. I I had a bite earlier, and uh, I'm gonna need a little more. I'm going to need a little more of that uh, Hey, turn chili. the uh, reverb down. Yeah, I he know, can't now. I know. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, he can. Why is he oh, wearing a Why he, is he wearing North Carolina Tar Heels? Cuz we're from uh, North Carolina. So I know, we're, we're I know there. but I mean it's just, just you know, you, you you live in Wilmington. He's a college student. He's on his own. Yeah, he's living his dream. He's North Carolina man. UNCW, UNCW baby. Yeah, you went yeah. there for a uh, Yeah, look at that millennial. First semester, and I got kicked out. <laughs> the millennial referring to the captain retired as man. Yeah. You dick. Show some fucking respect. Yeah, you god piece damn of it, shit. you millennial. It's ridiculous. You Call of you shit. man. <laughs> Tell me, I'm a millennial. We all are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are we not doing this or what? I yeah, just yeah, did we're, mine. We're doing it. Let's do it. Hey, Flo, uh, let me ask you, when you come to Army Navy, do you usually go to the game or you, do you do like pregame stuff? No, I usually go to the game. I've been it's my what, fourth year? Unfortunately, I'm going to miss the game this year. Um and it's probably a good thing cuz Army's going to win and I'm bad luck to I doubt that. I, no, the Army's not going to win today. That. What do you mean? I mean, what do you mean? Armies? They're not even ranked. Uh, it's it's minus ten and a half right now. You know that, right? Yeah, uh, it's, which is you. ridiculous. Bless you. We were wow, that is really. It's warm, yeah. Just one I don't need one. No, Guess no. who doesn't need one? Just exactly. Just try. It. We'll, we'll all try one bite. Flo, will you try one bite of this chili? I'll don't try one bite. Need okay, one. good. One bite. We're we'll all doing one bite. You ready? Hey, Jared. We're we'll all doing one bite. I'm, I'm not. Here goes my heartburn. I want to see how hot this actually is here. Here we go. You ready, Dan? Come on. There we go. There we go. Why? Mine. What's the point of burning One, two, your fucking just mouth try apart? It, no, dude, try I just it. tasted go. the sauce. It's oh, no shit. way. Yeah, yeah, it is no joke. Whoa. It's no Whoa. joke. Oh, oh. shit. Uh-uh. Oh. Not this land. A train went off. Off my property now. A train went off in the What's background. What's up? You need a jello shot, my man? Holy shit. Too much. We got, anybody got milk? Alec, put your kids on the milk? Sky. He says he got tasered. Hey. You want it? Oh, shit. Who's going to challenge him? Somebody. So his shirt says, I, I put point is his shirt. I got high, got drunk, got tasered. Another day at the ballpark. Welcome to Philadelphia. Wow. Welcome to Philadelphia. Hey, do you want a vodka shot, my man? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. oh, shit. He said he wants We're a shotgun there, of beer against Get the Sarah Taylor. Wow. He wants the shotgun of beer against Sarah Taylor. If you're not subscribed Wait, why did on you have YouTube, to take you've got to be for this one. Why hey, do you have to take your jacket off for bro, this? I have to. Why is it getting worse? It's chilly. Here we go. I will narrate this. Definitely subscribe on YouTube. Ah. <laughs> He said, you know I'm fast. Look at this. 
My God. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. Count it down. Oh, 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 shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. He said, fuck your couch, dude. That $20 dude, to this man. He's got no Holy gag reflex, shit. folks. My God. You're the best in the biz. What's your name? David Blaine. David Blaine is his name. <laughs> Come on. The magic man. <laughs> Man, I've never seen a shotgun that fast in my life. Post Malone, maybe? That's about it. I'll give you a card anyway. Yeah. <laughs> give us a card. What do you do? I'm a painter. You're a painter. All right, painter. shit. Yeah, I mean, if you're painting, you're going to get drunk as shit all day. I'm a painter, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. Danny Green, cheers. If you're in the Philadelphia area, call Danny Green. He does indoor and outdoor painting. Absolutely. Am I allowed to say your number so people can call you? 302-287-2270. At least text him a congrats. Yeah, text him a congrats. Danny Green, he just smoked Jared. And uh, and look, Jared's a talented I thought I did yeah. pretty good. You did. You did. Uh, 302-287-2270. If you're in the Philadelphia area and you need some painting, Danny Green, you just earned the best promo of all time. Man, he walked over to the tent and challenged Jared Taylor to a, a fucking shotgun contest. Hey, hey, why did he just walk by and stop and want me? I don't know. Oh, you. <laughs> you motherfucker, you fat. <laughs> I heard him. I, it was almost as if he knew. Uh, it was incredible. Hey, 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 can we have a serious conversation here? Absolutely. Why am I still hurting from this fucking chili? It's crazy, right? <laughs> I'm yeah. going to be shitting through a screen door tonight. I mean, I mean I'm oh. hurting right now. I mean, my mouth is burning. How hot uh, is that? Yes. Carolina Reaper. You got fireball? Minutes. Bring in the fireball. There we go. Boom, oh, boom. That's not going to help. So, yeah, it will. I need something to get rid of this. Something to get rid of this. Uh, Flo, what, what does this Army-Navy game mean to you? Yeah, it, what, what a... Is by far, in, in my opinion, personal opinion, the best sporting event in the United States of America. It's two organizations, right, of, of just kids that are, you know, dedicating their lives to something that they have no idea what the hell they're about to put themselves through, right? As to when they get out, when they get out of the academies and go and serve their nation, but it brings people together, man. And it's so much fun because you, you know, you're like beat army, beat navy, whatever, whatever, you know, whoever you want to pick. But in the end, it's about Spending time together, appreciating the service, and and having two groups of individuals who are going to go out there and battle it out just the way we battle out overseas. Yeah. And at the end, they're going to hug each other. We're going to party. Oh, shit. We got the hard hat crew. Get over here, motherfuckers. What are you doing? What are these guys doing with the hard hats? <laughs> Come on. Look at this. They brought hard hats? No way. Bring in the hard hat crew here. Come on in, dude. <laughs> Let's get Home them on Depot. camera. Home, you know how many times I've fucked to that Home Depot theme song? Ah. Bow, 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 chow, go bow. Navy, baby. Go Navy. Go Navy. That's what go I'm Navy. talking Get about, out. my man. Leave, leave now. What, what's the Home Depot hard hats for? I think with Kirk Herb Street. Oh, <laughs> shit. Is game day here? That's fucking amazing. Love Herb Street, dude. <clears throat> I got to yeah, stand yeah, yeah. up again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go I mean, in. they got hard hats. Do some jello shots. Who are you guys going for today? I'm going for Navy. 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 Oh, shit. Jerry's going for Navy as well. That's great. Who you going for? Uh, look, I took Army with the points. We do a sports show, so it's ten and a half. I think it's a lot of points. It's a, it's a, lot of points, a, it's right? a guarantee. It's a guarantee. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a I, guarantee. I think Navy will win, but I think it's a one-score game. I, actually, I think it's I'm, a seven-point game. I'm gonna game. go crazy. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna say Army's gonna win this game. I'm not. I never touch the the over under in Army Navy because no one throws more than ten <laughs> passes a game. It's four. So it's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got. I got. I got to spread at ten and a half. The over was probably what nineteen. <laughs> hey, what's what's? Yeah, is it nineteen? No, no, it's, no, no, it's low. That, that'd, be, that'd be pretty high. I'm I'm sure it's really low. It's but probably like forty five or something. We were like here that. last 41. year. Forty one. Forty one. God damn. Forty one. Well, I think last year was what seventeen, fourteen. Yeah. 
Yeah. The snow game was either it was like 34. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> 41 it's crazy. is not happening. No, 40, 41 is not happening. You all ready? Yeah. Hey, are you guys doing some jello shots? They're doing okay. jello shots do right jello now. Shot. Hey, you ever done a jello shot with a Medal of Honor recipient? You have now. <laughs> <laughs> You now that picture look that you just showed me just face. became obsolete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No matter what you say, I'm the leading guy. That's true. That's true. This is uh, uh, Florent uh, Groberg. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yes, uh, Drinking Bros Podcast. Welcome. Welcome. There it is. He's got the medal on him. He's got the medal on him. Pretty crazy, right? Go Army, right? Go Navy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> He still said go Navy. I love it. Thank I love it. So much. Hey, hey, cheers, you, you guys. guys. Thanks for hey, stopping by. Hey, we love by. the hard hats. Cheers. 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 Come on in. You, you were surprised today. Your girlfriend surprised you and brought you here. You didn't know you were coming to this game, did you? Yeah. Come, Come on, on in. in. Come on Come in. in. Yeah, you are. There you You're are. On. You're on. Sit down, fuckface. Uh, well, tell, tell us your name. Uh, my name is Scott. Scott, are you sure? Yeah. You... Positive. <laughs> HIV positive. <laughs> like HIV positive. Charlie Sheen's not here today, kids. Uh, um, all right. Hey, he's watching her shit down. <laughs> he How are you is losing actually. Like that in a I don't. Jared had a, has a picture with Charlie. Uh, they're they're bros now, so they'll be sucking each other's dicks soon. Hey, he's getting tracked. Ah, no, I'm totally kidding. Uh, so you didn't know that you were coming to to this at all this morning, right? Your girlfriend surprised you? Nope. How crazy is this? Uh, I told her about the podcast and then said I wanted to go and she goes, oh, that's nice. Uh, that's nice. Does she, does she listen to it with you? Uh, yeah, she, she, she laughs at my response to y'all. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Well, I will say this. You've got a great girlfriend. I hope you're having a blast today and thank yeah, you for coming out. Girlfriend of the year. Girlfriend of the year, yeah? Congratulations. This is, this is some shit where she's trying to get you to marry her. No, no, no kidding, like, hey, right? That's from, what, so hey, man, I'll take now. you out here and we can do this, but we're going to get you're married. You're screwed now. Right? You got you, you to gotta propose. Yeah. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. <laughs> you know what they say. You know what they say. You know what they say. A third year paycheck for a whole year. Yeah, it is. So I don't know what your paycheck is, so it's going to be, but it's going to be a hell of a deal, man. You got to go to, you got to go to Zales. Yeah. He went to Jared. He went to Jared is where no, he went. No, 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 because that's a failed marriage. I want to not. Oh, whoa. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank that's three wow. failed marriages. I have to take a shot. Three Sorry. failed marriages. <laughs> hey, they're you coming after the you, show. man. They're coming Holy after you. Shit. For sure. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, absolutely. Pleasure. Absolutely. Pleasure. Thank you Pleasure. for your service. You too, brother. Oh, great video. Oh, hey, Alec. God. Alec, get, get a shot of our chef over here. Our chef is over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Look at you on the grill, man. Hell yeah. Hey, Tom. What's going on over there? Oysters. 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 Yeah. Fuck. They're hot. You gotta, you gotta let it cool off? Gotta let it cool. All right. What, what do you make? Yeah. Yeah, what, what are you gotta making over there? Cool. You got dogs, you got burgers, you got oysters. Man, man. So we have our top three tailgates in the United States. You know, we travel a lot for the sports show. We've been everywhere. This is top three. I've never seen somebody bring a full hibachi grill besides Asians. I've seen a lot of Asians bring hibachi grills. You can say that. We're this the minority. Nice. We're the minority. There's 1.8 billion of them. Yeah. Yeah, we're the minority. <laughs> Treat us with respect. We want fair pay, too. We're white. Um, no. <laughs> I'm not. There is. Well, you're not. No, I don't know what I am. What would you What would you count yourself as? I have no idea. I, I put other, uh, other. Literally, that's what I put. Or just Drake. Like or you're Drake. very Drakeish. It's it's questionable. Where you're like, ah, is he Middle Eastern? Is he black? Is he white? We don't really know. Put it this way, it's not fun going through TSA pre with me. <laughs> I'm a guarantee. Boy, what is this? Oh my God! Do we you still get, get patted down going through TSA, where it's just like we're gonna pull you out? Because of line? he does have a Syrian vibe to him. I mean, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a. It's a good, uh, it's a good bet that I'm gonna be checked randomly selected, <laughs> randomly, <laughs> randomly checked. selected. <laughs> oh, probably eighty percent of the time. Yeah, I'm like, I got clear, I got pre. 
Are you still gonna check me? It's like, sir, it's just random. <laughs> it's it's totally random. It but has I'm, nothing to do with your skin color. You should or learn your hair. those phrases though in Pashtu. I should. Right? Yeah, I should. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to relocate in Pakistan, but for some reason, I'm not invited. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, here we go. Here we go. Let's here we go. Shots. We're doing lead slinger shots. You got a flight. It's is appropriate. There it is. Pass it down. Uh, yeah, there it, it is. Down. It really, it really oh, hit him. Fuck it. I just shotgun the fucking beer. Ooh. I just shotgun the beer. Yeah. Why? Why you guys so mad at me? This, this is who he is. Yeah. <laughs> Jared, man. Let's let. Yeah, make we, Jared great again. It makes Jared great again. <laughs> Jared's pretty fucking great. They're I gonna think, kill me. I, yeah. Like I'm gonna die by forty. Cause they're like, now nah, we just watch you drunk all the time. Come on, you're not forty yet. No. All that gray hair, you're not forty. Hey, come on. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. That is nice. <laughs> How was Panama? <laughs> Didn't you jump in Panama? No, come on! <laughs> what was it like in World War II? Tell me now. No, I, this is one of those. Time out, time out. This is a great question. Yeah. Right here, we got a Marine. Where at? I, I'm going I'm to put you on the spot. No, we can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> this is the easiest kilt. question in the world, but hey. Give me, when? Tell me about World War I. What years? Oh, he won't do it. He's drinking rum. Damn it. Yeah, he's drinking rum out of a Mountain Dew bottle, so that should tell you all you need to know. how much drywall I'm going to fuck up later. Yeah. So, you're wearing, hey, you guys, are, you guys are both wearing kilts. Alec, get a shot of their kilts. Is there anything underneath them? Oh, no, 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 no. Mother of God. Someone needs a spray. That that needs a bidet, my man. I don't know that my you're life able changed. to see your own ass. My life there changed is forever. a lot of brown everywhere there. We're going to have to blur that out for YouTube, obviously. But that is something I can never get out of my mind for the rest of my life. There it is changed. so much changed. brown on both sides. Was it the chili that you shit out? Probably. Probably. My God, man. So what about you, sir? Are you going dong or uh, you got a little... Yeah, pussy. pussy. Why, why wear a kilt if you're going to wear something underneath it? You know what I'm saying? Your Mel Gibson would be so yeah, pissed right now. I know. It'd be, like, it'd be like me getting dressed, you know, to go to work and putting a condom on and then not fucking that day. Oh, That's hold on, what it is. I, hold on, hold on. Pull your pants, down, all the time. Pull your pants right. down for us. Pull your pants down for us. We want to see them, yeah. You remember, the, you remember that time? Jeez. I walked in and took my pants off and I just had a condom on. Yeah. <laughs> and you were like, what the fuck are you just wasting? I was like, I don't know. I didn't want to forget. Yeah. <laughs> What am I doing on this show? What, what are you you're doing? You're losing on this your show? job. That's what you're doing. You're so losing your job and Jared all your sponsorships. Jared walks in and he's got he pulls his pants down. He's got a condom on his dick. And I was like, "What are you doing, man?" And he goes, "Well, I didn't want to forget just in case." And I was like, "Did you have sex?" And you go, "I don't remember. There was no load in it, so I'm assuming it was no. Well, no. You could have also Maybe. just banged and then yeah. just you know gone know. load free. I don't know. We don't know." Hey, you know, I, I've been mean, I've been truly meaning to ask you this question. You know, I've been married for a year. Yeah. Love my wife. Year? Full year. <laughs> One year. I'm, I'm, I'm in business, and um, I, I look up to you, right? I, I really do. It's weird. I look up to you. So well, that, that's a mistake. Very much. That's very much. A mistake. I just want to know, like, what, what do I need to do to make sure that I'm successful in my marriage? <laughs> that's the last person. Uh, or it could be the first person because I can tell you what not no, to do. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, no. True. You're asking. No, I, I would say this. I knew from spending time at your house with her in the early stages of your dating that you picked right. You picked. You picked a friend. So let me ask you this, Jared. <laughs> let me ask you this, Jared. Would, would you be honest with him if? He was about to marry the wrong person. Oh, fuck yeah. You know I'm like that. Is there any friends of ours who've gotten married recently that you were honest with? I don't know. Who got married recently? I don't know. Is there any friends of ours at all? Huh? 
<laughs> oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Matt, hey, Matt, Matt got married recently, right? No, that's been years. Yeah, Matt. No, that's saying me. May, we're saying I did. Jared in May. Jared married a porn star. No, in, no, I've been May, watching yeah. that through my. Uh, that marriage is over. Thank you. It is thank December. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of people are clapping for that. Yeah. There's gonna be a new marriage at Shot Show. Is it really? Yeah. I won't say who it's to. What's his name? What's his name? His but there's gonna William. be there's gonna be a wedding and shot show. I've I've been trying to talk you into going dudes. I, I, I think that's the last frontier for you. Yeah. Is it really though? Is it really? Oh, well, I guess so. yeah. No, I think dudes is just a What's phase. What's the over under on that one? I don't know if it's a phase so much. I just think it's something. I mean, here's the thing. I'm willing to like take a dare from the drinking bros as a whole. If they tell me you have fifteen days to get into a relationship. That means I've got a pick. Actually, hey, so if we're in Vegas, I have the perfect spot. When we shot 50K in a Call Girl Love Story, I got married with Elvis at the Elvis Chapel. I know that guy. Yeah. It's a fucking blast. Like, it's, it's a blast. I said, I'm willing to take a bet from Drinking Bros if they say I have 15 days to get into a relationship. Is that the over-under? Yes. And then we and then days. we see how long it lasts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> Starting on what date? What date do you want to start? You can I don't one, know. One, let's, do, let's do one January. Yeah. One January. Yeah, we'll one, January. one January. I have to be in a relationship one January. Okay. Hey. No, 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 no. What do you mean you have to be in a relationship? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you have to be married. That's fine. That's plenty of time. No, not married. Days is plenty of time. Oh, Just, I have to commit. That's too easy. I don't think I don't think I don't think it's that I don't think it's that easy. I'll, I'll tell you why. On New Year's Day at midnight, that's the girl. At midnight. So here's the thing. Oh shit! Wait, wait. But with that, it can't be somebody that you've been with in the past that you know at all. Okay. It's got to be a, a total stranger. Total stranger. Um, how do they hit you up through Drinking Bros Singles? Yeah. Or Facebook, Instagram. Okay, or Facebook, yeah. Instagram. Great. Yeah. And then. So, are you going to SHOT Show? Yes. Okay, since you're going to SHOT Show, can we do... Because we'll, we'll all be invited. So we'll bring... At, all of us will come. So instead of doing a wedding ceremony, we'll do a date, like a, a relationship ceremony? Correct. Yeah, yeah. And okay, we'll yeah. do a live show from Got it. the Elvis Chapel in right. Vegas, all if right. you're able to do this. Yes. So you think you'll be able to find a girl in the next 16 days? I mean, I have to. Yes. So pretty much... Come January 1st, I have to pick. He's got two right here. <laughs> oh, no, that dude's. Are you guys single? What's your story? Who are you sexting with? What's her, yeah, what's her name? Who are you throwing tit pics to right there? <laughs> Y'all, you have to move your motorcycle, a.k.a. that's code for butt sex. <laughs> hey, why don't you come over and move my motorcycle? Okay, we're having anal. Um, why, don't, why don't you give Jared Taylor a shot? Would you do that? Would you, would you marry him? She would, right? You are single. Are she... Oh, you've been married and done that. He's been there. She dude. looks like she fucking parties, dude. Oh, yeah. She just absolutely fucking parties. She does, right? How crazy do you get? Come on in and say, hey, why, hey, why don't you come on in and sit on Santa's lap? It's, we're, 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 we're close to Christmas. So sit on Santa's lap, and then we'll go over your life story. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come around this side. Come on in. There you go. Don't be shy about it. Don't be shy about it. Dan, let her sit on your lap, dude. It's Christmas. Dan, it's Christmas. Let her sit on your lap. It's Christmas. It's Christmas, Dan. Let her sit on your lap. Dan, why can't you sit on your lap, Dan? I don't understand. It's Christmas. I don't have a beard, or else I would. Uh, okay, hold it up uh, close to your mouth. <laughs> You've done that before. I can tell. I can tell you've done that before. What's your name? Jen. Jen. Is that your government name? Yes. And that's Jennifer, right? Yeah. You weren't just a Jen. Nobody names their kid Jen. But it's cool as shit. It is cool. Uh, so you were you were divorced, right? I was. Okay, what happened there? We don't need to know that story. Uh, w w w was it sexual? Was it anything sexual? No, he was abusive. Oh, he's abusive. Yeah, Jesus that's, Christ. We don't, we don't know you go that way. Way to bring it down. I know, right? God that's why damn I, it. I tried. Yeah. That'd be like saying, nice to meet you, Ross. What was your life story? I, I just kept getting sucks. raped by an uncle. And, uh, you know, <laughs> happens to everyone, I guess. Like, Jen, that's terrible. Uh, so you got out of that. I did. But you party. Your friends say you're a crazy girl. I'm fun. Yeah, you're fun, right? Yes. You're fun. Would somebody like Jared be hey, an interest to you? I mean, he's hot. He's hot. 
She just said you're hot. What? Hooray! Oh, uh, it's that last know. slinger right there. Oh, you think Dan's hot? So here's the thing. I'm going to just move a little closer to your mouth. Listen, I got invited. Okay, so this girl said, I want you to be my date to my brother's wedding next September. You should do okay? it. She goes, but you have to lose 30 pounds. Oh, God. I was like, fuck. Maybe. No. I'd say no. I'd say no. I'd say no to that. No, I kind of yeah, want to try it so I can win. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to win. Yeah, we, we've got a penis cookie up here. So I already did that. Let me ask you this. Since you said Jared and Dan are hot, Dan, we get a lot of sly messages about Dan of like, he's my spirit animal. Sexually, I, I, I want to try to figure this guy out. What is it about Dan? What? It's the beard. <laughs> Why is it weird? No, I said it's the beard. Oh, it's the beard. Oh. Oh, yeah, because you're growing. I can't, you're right. I actually can't grow a beard, and that's true. That's true. So it's it's the beard, nothing else. Okay. Knowing that he could kill a man right in front of you, that, that's not part of I mean, of that's it. hot. Yeah, right? I can too. You can too. Were you in? Did you serve? No. 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 But you could kill a man. I could. Um, by, by the way. I'm all, a nurse. I know how to kill people. You're a nurse, ways. yeah. Uh, what size would you say your breasts are? Just, I mean, just for the crowd. It's a guess right now. There was there was somebody with triple IHs last night. No? Jeez? No. What's hot about Jared? <laughs> he makes me laugh. He makes me laugh. Uh, he makes you laugh. Yep. That's a nice thing, and I think that's what all that's what that's what everybody's looking for. She is way too embarrassed to be on camera I am. right now. I don't like it. I I don't like the spotlight. No, not at all. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm not. A how about our it. chef? Is he done cooking? <laughs> Thank you. Is he done cooking over there? Craig Delasco, are you done cooking? You done? Come on in. Yeah, come on in. There we go. There we go. You can love on Glenn. Yeah, we'll love on Glenn. Love Glenn, come on in. Circle around the table here. Circle around the table, my man. She was not comfortable on camera at all. Not at all? No. Hey, what's up? Welcome, buddy. How are you? How we doing? Dude, this is some of the best tailgate food in the business. You've got a full grill set up. What kind of grill is that? A big motherfucking grill. Yeah, but what do you call that? The BFG. The, the, the big, big fucking grill. grill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, That's all I got, man. How do you wheel that in and out of events? Because that's that does not fit in the back of a car. No, I got a big ass van. Oh, is that it is? Yeah. Yeah. So I got a BFG with a BFV. Okay. Yeah, because that is not a Honda Civic. You know, event. Yeah, that's not fitting in a Subaru. No, no, no. no. So, uh, there's this, no. this is one of the, this is one of the, the the best tailgates we've we've been to that we go to every year. Really? Um, yes. Oh, I mean, man, dude, I'm impressed, man. That's cool. It is extremely rare that you have somebody cooking up <clears throat> Philly cheesesteaks, hot dogs, hamburgers. What are these clams that you made us here? No, no they're oysters, man. They're oysters. Okay. Yeah, great. yeah, yeah. So, what what are in these before I eat them? Uh, bacon, chives. A little bit of um, a little bit of Monica. You got a little Romano cheese and stuff like that. Oh my God! Mm. Yeah, fantastic. I got them straight off the boat. So, really? Yeah, I live like five minutes from the dock. Where at? Uh, near uh, Delaware Bay, off of By Valve, New Jersey, near East Point. So, oh, New Jersey. I had a friend there, uh, Tommy. Tommy used to live off the dock. Um, the union's been well, on strike, so he's kind of down on his luck. But. Did he? Gosh. See, I was going to ask, was he on a dock or did he work on a dock? I mean, it's a little different. You know? Well, it's Bon Jovi. It's uh, Shaving yeah, yeah. Jay. Uh, favorite, favorite Jersey artist? Oh, damn. You go Springsteen, you go JBJ, who do you go? I, I, I got to go. If you're going to do that, I'd have to say Springsteen. I mean, because he's, he, he's further south, man. Actually, you know, so. Springsteen's the best. Yeah. yeah. We, love, we love the boss. Yeah, yeah. We love the boss. How long you Well, live? you also got Bruce Willis, too, man. If you're going to go actors and stuff like that. And he did a little music, so. Ah, uh, did he? He wasn't really great at did it. He? I mean, no. it's yeah. kind of like Eddie Murphy trying to do some shit. But. Exactly. My girl likes to party all the time. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, you lived here. Hey, uh, we had some feedback last night from doing the show with him, and we really didn't touch on this. There, there, there was a reoccurring question. Uh -oh. And uh, a lot of the people wrote in, and they said they wanted to hear strictly from Flo. Craig, shut the fuck up. Yeah. They wanted to hear from Flo. Like, what is it truly like being a Medal of Honor recipient? Like, like you know, you kind of, you kind of <clears throat> approached it last night when you said how you didn't like, you didn't like the attention because yeah. you felt that you had a, a number of other people that deserved that way more than you. But what is, what is the aftermath now? 
year, years later that you're still held up here? You know, I, I it's it's so ridiculous. Uh, in my opinion, eight seconds, right? You're talking about my, my story. Eight seconds like, in action, it's like that. Yeah. And here I am. I get I get you know you walk around and people are like you know shake your hand and they're like oh my god like, I read about you and all this stuff and and the whole time you're thinking in your head it's like dude I've done nothing compared to so many individuals I'm associated with so many different stories I got picked literally like you know it's like a deck of cards and they pick a card and they vote on it and they're like yeah you know what this guy is gonna be a it sounds like he's gonna be a pretty decent representation of um of the metal and and, and, and the unit. And I want to, to me, it's, it's always, been, always been uncomfortable, right? But the reality is this. Man, there are unbelievable stories out there. Yeah. There are unbelievable stories. Your story is unbelievable. It is bigger than my story. But I'm on that stage because someone decided to, and this guy's burping, maybe I'm Jesus, Jesus shit up. Christ. Yeah. So Whoa, that, that you? Was, that was her. That was her. Wow. That was her. That's impressive. Whoa. He's in the middle oh. of a heartfelt story, and a girl just burps. That, I'm giving you the notebook. Yeah. In the loud. And you're out here, you're like, yeah, shut Burr. the fuck up. <laughs> Get a no. shot of her, Alec. Yeah. I am so <laughs> you're good. Get a no, shot you're of her, Alec. No, you're not. Oh, my God. Hey, here, yeah. I, I, you know what? Based on that, burp, I'll close it out with this. <laughs> Man, we are no different than no one else. Literally, if you just burped in the middle of a Nash, a Medal of Honor winner. That's actually Sipping really impressive. Get her. Oh my god! Everybody, give me my attrition tool. Recipient, you just burped right in his face, in the middle of a heart. Welcome to story. America. Yeah. Welcome to America. Okay, <laughs> Boomer. It don't fucking matter who okay, you are. Boomer, I'm burping in your face. <laughs> Right, right is the moment you're like, hey. No, I, honestly, actually, you, no, you made my point. The you beauty literally of it made is, my yeah, point. The beauty of it is you go, he's right in the middle of saying, I'm no different than anyone else. <laughs> Out of a Shut way. up. Yeah. Go right. army. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a truly, baby. It's better than White Claws. Hey. <laughs> There's no law so, with White Claws. So, by the way. Finish your completely serious story now. That homegirl is fucking threw up on your back. <laughs> that, hey, hey, brush the chunk off, man. Yeah, Look, we're we're no different than no one else. Our stories are not greater than hundreds of thousands of other stories. So, the biggest comment and the biggest request that I ask of folks is tell your story. Yep. You know, when you come up to me, instead of shaking my hand and saying, like, oh, thank you, you know, thank you for your service, thank you for what you've done, all that stuff, you're amazing. I was like, no, I want to hear what the hell you're doing, you know. I want, I want them to shake my hand and say, hey, I appreciate you being a Melvin recipient, but listen to me. Because I have so much to learn from folks. And by the way, when you become a Melvin recipient, apparently you're such a matter of expert in everything. Yeah, right. Right? And people would ask you to go on shows and talk about CNN, this and that. Yeah. How the hell am I such a matter of every, about everything when I just, you know, I receive the medal? Yeah. I'm not. I'm just like you. And the fact that I get the opportunity to come here, hang out with you guys, you know, get we to meet you guys. Out you guys. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's always a pleasure. I mean, well, we shoot the shit. D- we- the, the DC Range 15 premiere was. Hands down, like the funnest time. Oh, that was, that was we, the we, best. We talked about it last time, night. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys, I mean, this is unbelievable. I mean, I, no, I, I don't think people truly realize the impact you had at Walter Reed. It's when you called me and you're like, hey, Walter Reed's kind of giving me a little tough time to get into. I was like, no, we're going to solve that right now. And I'll make did, phone calls. Literally in yeah. 30 minutes. Hey, you guys come. <laughs> yeah. And I have never, in terms of entertainment, Movies, books, whatever. I've never felt so proud than that night when the movie was done. You're there, you know. You're there, Matt, and all that stuff. And you're, and it was just like the smile on those guys' faces and those ladies' faces. You're talking about dudes that lost three limbs, and this is, and 
They haven't had the opportunity to smile for a long time. Truly, truly smile and laugh and have a good time and, and, and be in awe of, their, of other people. You change lives, man. You change lives. It's like people changed my life when I was struggling through my hard times when I was at Walter Reed. And you don't have a medal. I mean, you don't have a medal of honor. But, man, you impact more people than I will ever impact in my life. Man, I, look, I appreciate it. And I, truly, we're humbled to have you on the show. Thank you for coming out. Uh, Army Navy is one of our favorite events. We, we will be here every single year. This is our second live show here. Uh, let's get to the drinking bro of the week. Uh, Joe Seals. Joe uh, Seals. We, we also want to give it to uh, Brianna. Uh, and then, and then Brianna. Brianna. Come on in and then swap out. Uh, and you, my lady. Yes, Judy. Come on in. Both of you guys. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really drinking. Dr oh, Look, we you. would bring in everybody because yeah. there's, you know, there's a ton of people here. But uh, yeah, he is, is why do you do this the, to me? Come on chapters. in. Come on in. One of the best to do it. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, we got it. We got it. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. You can sit on my lap. I don't care. All right. I don't give a shit. Um, ladies, every year we come here. You guys put on this event for us. Uh, it was it was raining today. You guys had tents for us. You advanced for us. We needed outlets and, and power and all that stuff. Because last year we, we were down there and we said, hey man, we don't want you guys to leave your food and booze. We'll come and join you this year. You set up everything for us. You guys planned everything for us. We want to give you guys the drinking bros and broettes of the week. Um, oh, and that's to you guys. Well, yes. hey. uh, to, to Brianna. Absolutely. Jello shots. Hey, gentlemen, jello shots for these guys too. Yes, there Yellow you go. Jots. There you oh, go. there we go. Really we got perfect. the we got the, the flyover crew. Yeah. Hey. Welcome. There it is. Bree, how long have you been in Drinker Bros? Um, since 2016, I've been following you guys for a long time, but I didn't realize Drinking Bros was a thing. Because I followed Matt and Jared and their stupid videos that they would always sure. post. Um, so I've been fans <laughs> of them a long time. But uh, 2016, and then I think I became an admin in like maybe 17. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, look, I, we're unbelievably grateful. Uh, give the mic to her real quick. Yeah. How long have you been in Drinking Bros, Judy? Uh, about the same, 2016. Yeah, about 2016? About 2016, yeah, about yeah. And then I've been an admin for New Jersey for about two and a half years, I think. Two and a half years. Uh, fantastic. Uh, you were with us last year when we did uh, Cheers. We're going to do some Jello shots here together live on air. Subscribe on YouTube, Drinking Bros Podcast. Um, we really want to thank you. We actually come to Philadelphia a lot, surprisingly. Um, I, was, I was shocked at how many times... Uh, I mean, I think we've been here five times in the last two years, it feels like. It's the third time we've done a big tailgate. Yes, oh, so and at Penn the, State as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I wasn't yeah. at Penn State, but she was at Penn State, so that's so four. Yeah. And we're here again next year. And you blacked out on the grates inside the trailer. I took a nap. I took a nap. I went out the night before. Look. You weren't there. You were in the game. Now, you didn't witness it. I, I was I was at the game, Ohio State beat Penn State. I came back and you were passed out. No, I'm done with no, no. On no, the, the grades. Or no. somebody told us you were passed out and they said, Probably hey. Probably Andrew. You yes, guys Andrew, I was yeah, gone yeah, yeah, before yeah. you guys got back. And shout out to Andrew Ball and from I think, uh, State. Were you there vodka. still? So yes, Jay Stateside. <laughs> Alex, show a shot of Stateside. We love those guys. We do love Stateside. They're always with us. Uh, so let me ask you, sw swing it back over to her. Uh, who helps you setting up all this stuff? Is there anybody you want to give thanks to? Yeah, well, Glenn, who you already talked to. He yes, we love is, Glenn. Glenn's the fucking best, dude. And he, we always go back and forth about, I'm um, like, you're going too far. He's like, but what if? And it always works out great. He always has a great plan, and we always have a great tailgate, so. No, it's amazing. And uh, our, our other buddy who, with a kilt on, but I can't see him here. He kind of looks Johnny like Walker. Bill Burr. Johnny Walker. And uh, the other guy with the kilt. Yes, yes. I don't know his uh, hey, we love you guys, man. Um, every time we come to Philadelphia, it is truly one of the best experiences we have all year. We've narrowed it down to three on Drinking Bros Sports. Brotherly love. Brotherly love. I, I love how much you stumbled through the brotherly love. Very Stallone. All right. Very Stallone, yeah. Fucking A. Yeah. Uh, no, br brotherly love, uh, thank you for coming out. We appreciate it. Is this guy, are you going to do a jello shot in no. your ass to cap it off? No, no, no. 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 Yes. Nope. You say yes or no? Wrap this show. Yes, we will wrap the show. Hang on, who made the ribs? 
What's your name? Brian. Brian, last name? Bonanno. Yes. Hey, Brian best ribs Boitano. on the planet. Thank you, Brian Boitano. <laughs> it's not Brian Boitano. Shut up, isn't it? figure skater. <laughs> Shut up. We're getting fucked up here. Thank you for joining us. This is Drinking Bros Podcast for Flo, for Jared, for Danthony Danthony Holloway, Bree, Judy, I'm Ross Patterson. Good night, everyone. Oh.